Well, a majority of the State Public Service Commission today threw its support behind a controversial bill designed to help Northwestern Energy buy an additional part of the Coal Strip 4 power plant in southeast Montana. That vote went against the recommendation of PSC staff, which said the bill undermines fundamental principles of utility regulation. MTN's Mike Dennison has more. Senate Bill 331 says if Northwestern Energy buys an additional 150 megawatts of the coal strip plant, it gets to pass on millions of dollars in plant-related costs to ratepayers without PSC review. On Monday, the PSC, which regulates utilities, voted 3-1 to one to support the bill. Commission Chairman Brad Johnson of East Helena said Montana customers of Northwestern will need that power from the coal strip plant in the future. He said he doesn't want to risk having the plant closed prematurely because of anti-coal political forces and that Senate Bill 331's guarantees for the company will help prevent that from happening. To leave that unit to, subject to those forces and that kind of premature closure poses a much greater risk to the ratepayers than does uh, the acquisition by Northwestern of this additional 150 megawatts. Commissioners Bob Lake of Hamilton and Randy Pinocchi of Sun River also voted to support the bill. But Commissioner Roger Koopman of Bozeman voted to oppose it and said supporting it is a huge mistake. He said the bill allows Northwestern to charge ratepayers for certain costs of coal strip 4 even if it's closed early, and therefore it could encourage that early closure. Koopman also said it sets a terrible precedent by taking away the PSC's basic ability to review utility costs before they're put into electric customer rates. But we believe in this bill, and we don't believe in the Public Service Commission, and the uh, legislature might as well go to work on creating something new for their liking, because this bill is a denial of what we are here to do. While PSC staff recommended opposition to the bill, it did say Monday that the bill's sponsor, Senator Tom Richmond of Billings, may offer some amendments that could alter some of its objectionable portions. Senate Bill 331 has its first hearing on Tuesday before the Senate Energy Committee. Reporting from Helena, Mike Dennison, MTN News. Northwestern has said it's negotiating to buy this additional portion of power from another coal strip co-owner for only $1 because that uh, owner wants to get out of coal-fired power.